get paid twice every month the first paycheck gone never seen it the second one it just goes slowly and slowly and slowly thankfully i ranked up and it's been helping me a lot it's not about how much money you're making it's about how you spend the money that you're making you notice that you keep getting more and more money and you're still having problems it means you're a bad spender you're not good with your finances okay so uh Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Bridget here. I know I've been gone for a long time, but today I am back and I am going to be talking about how to become financially stable as a young airman that has little to no experiences with money in the military. Financially stable in my definition is being able to have fun with the money that you work hard for and also being able to not feel like you're stressed because you don't have enough money. When I joined the military, I wasn't really joining for the money. So when I realized that we didn't make a lot, it hurts, it hurts, but I wasn't mad because that's not the reason why I joined. Other people get mad because that's the reason why they joined. They joined for the benefits and thinking they were gonna make a lot of money and they realize it's not that. So it's like, uh, I just be hurt because all the work I put in, I just anyways before i joined the military ever since i was young ever since i was a little baby girl i loved collecting coins i love saving money i love being able to go buy my own lollipops without having to ask my mom or dad and i love the fact that my older sister would have to ask me for my money and i'd be like i'll give you five but you have to give me ten when you pay me back like i was making investments at a young age i hated hearing the word no so every time i'd ask for something on christmas i wouldn't get it or on my birthday i wouldn't get it or first day of school will come up and i want to wear the newest shoes and you know mom want to shop at goodwill like i was like i had to find a way to start saving so i started collecting coins i would do my dad's laundry clean out his car i'll clean my sister's car i'll clean my mom's car i would help out the neighbors take out their trash it really helped me first of all be a hard-working person with that mindset of go 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 and also help me be able to get whatever i wanted so i graduated high school when i was 17. i was going through the whole um debt program i got accepted i was waiting for a job covid got into play and, and my world just shook shook up and i was like oh my god what am i gonna do i could just sit home on my butt i didn't know when i was gonna be shipped out and i didn't want to make the mistake that i did make of applying for a class getting in and not being able to finish and then having like a withdrawing my records which i ended up doing because i didn't know the it was it was a lot that's a story for another day and i had a whole roof over my head food was on the table um, Wi-Fi was free, like could just be recording TikToks all day. I decided uh, I'm not going to do that. I need to get a job because I just want to be able to just get my own stuff. I want to be able to, I love doing hair. I wanted to be able to buy wigs whenever I wanted to. I wanted to buy clothes. I wanted to buy makeup. I just wanted to get the phone that I wanted. Like I wanted to buy a camera. I wanted to be able to purchase apps on my phone, like just things like that. So. That pushed me to get a job. My first job was at Capital One and I was making like $17 per hour additional overtime, which I had a lot of time in my hands. So you know what I was doing, overtime. It was work from home. I was literally in my room with headsets as a 17 year old getting paid like what I'm getting paid now. It makes me cry because I should have stayed. I should have stayed and gone to school, but it's okay. God has a plan for my life. As I was doing that, I started learning how to save up. My focus as a 17 year old, it wasn't really big stuff. I just wanted to have better equipment for my photography. Honestly, that was that was it. I wanted to buy prints and all this stuff and like purchase shirts. There's a rule in my house. Household where I grew up was like, if you start working, you pay your own bills. So you gotta pay your own phone bill. I also had to pay for my own Wi-Fi because for my job, I had to have a Wi-Fi in my room. So I had to pay for my own Wi-Fi. I was able to, yeah, purchase my own plane tickets, buy my cameras, buy apps, do my hair, change, buy clothes, buy the shoes I wanted, buy a phone. I paid my phone as a 17 year old. I, I had a thousand dollars and I paid my phone cash. I had no bills, I had no bills and that was like, a big thing for me that was the first big purchase i've ever made and i ended up buying these like um 
Air Jordans because it was very popular, like all by myself, no help from no one. Like, but in order to be able to spend and pay my bills, I had to find a way to budget. It was still some stuff that I didn't know about money that I wish I knew because it, it was gonna help me even more. I wish I did the research and found out about what is credit, what is a credit score, um, why is it important, what is budgeting, why is budgeting important, why is raining day saving important. There's just things that I never thought about. I always knew I had to save something on the side for what I wanted, like which was stupid fun stuff at that age. But now I realize that you, I still have to have that mindset of saving for what I want and need in the future too. Because there was a point in my life when I first joined the military also, I was 19. I had a little dilemma with uh, my plane ticket, which is a story for another day. But um, it was a weird, it was, it's another story. But if you wanna hear that story, just comment below and I'll tell you guys the story of when my finance shook up on me and I did not know what to do and I had to follow all these steps right here in order to get myself back up. First thing is, let's talk about credit, okay? Make sure that you have a good credit score. A lot of people don't even know how to even get a credit score. I didn't know how to get a credit score. Basically, get a credit card from a bank, put some money in, and um, you pay that money off, basically. You swipe your card and you pay that money off, you pay that money off, and you're building credit based off of how good of a payer you are, okay? Your payment history is very critical when it comes to being financially stable. You wanna make sure that you're paying stuff on time. Whether it's a credit card or it's a debit card, pay stuff on time, okay? You don't wanna have missing payments. Um, when it comes to applying for loans or a new credit card, um, they decide what they want to give you or if they even want to lend you money um, based off of how good of a payoff person you are, so your characteristic. They can't be like, oh my God, Shelby or Nikki, you are you are such a great person, here's a loan. No, they basically go ahead and look at um, how you pay off your bills, okay? But it's like, how are you paying off your bills if you don't even have a credit card or if you don't have bills to pay off? Like, what is your name? You gotta have your name on something. I know I paid off my phone cash, which was great, but I'd say that somebody that's more advanced and have a lot of money in the bank. Um, for me, I wish I actually set up a payment for that phone throughout my credit. That way I had a credit score and that way I was gonna be able to buy a car even sooner and all that money I put into that phone, I could have put it into a car, you know what I mean? Manage how you pay, pay your bills. Um, do what works best for you, okay? So I personally do split payments. When I first got my car and I started paying car insurance, that was $400, my car payment was $300. 22 point something dollars i was paying a lot of money and i was an airman basic an airman basic you know how much we make like 700 dollars minimize unnecessary spending unnecessary bills like speeding tickets okay listen i learned the hard way after i got a 400 dollar fine and i was already having financial issues because i was it was an okay. I was, it was, it's a long story. I'm gonna tell, like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all this story the other time. Why are you paying off a ticket? Why? $400. You, you can't afford that. Why are you speeding? Another unnecessary spending. Don't just go and buy stuff just because it's like, oh my god, I just need it. I just want it. I just want it. Everybody has it. No, leave within your mean. Make sure that you have enough money in your account before going out to buy things you don't really need. Okay, if you have in your spending little box, you have $400 and you go to the store and there's something that's $500, don't buy it. Also, just because you have $400, don't mean that you need to spend $400 every month. This is what I do. I have $400 right here. I'm going to spend $100. I have $300. Obviously, I'm stable enough to have put $400 for $400. Next month, I'll put $400 right here, right? And then I will use $100 again. I have $300 that I saved last month. This month, I have the $400 and I took out one. $300, $300. You have $600 in your saving and you just keep stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and that's how I'm able to do trips and that's how you're able to go out on restaurants and have fun and that's how I'm able to change my hair all the time and it's like oh my god you must be broke no I'm being smart with my spending and people don't really know but in the background let me tell you this it takes a bunch of mental games and being um sufficient and being like on yourself and it's hard sometimes it's like I really want that I really want that but do you need it 
but do you need it? When it comes to paying your bills, I know it's easier to, my foot is getting numb. When it comes to paying your bills, I know it's so much easier to pay the minimum payment, but once you start being good at saving your money and you have that $600 in your pot of spending, you can start putting that towards your um, debts, you know, like your car loan or your insurance, you know. I always be prepared to have a cushion. I know as a Christian, I believe in God and I believe that he has my back, but I also believe that um, faith without works is dead, okay? So you gotta have faith, but also put the work in. I know God sees me and sees that I'm trying my finances. And if something goes wrong, I know that God is still gonna help me. But don't get me wrong, God is a gracious God. Even if you're not being great with your finances, he still got our back. But in a logical way, why do you wanna go through that stress, right? Like, he gives us the knowledge that we need. Use the knowledge that you have, that he gives you to be able to just be free, okay? And be, be less stressed, okay? That's all it's about. If I ever get to tell you guys my little financial story of like the worst financial um, moment in my life, um, don't forget to comment down below about it. But if I ever get to tell you guys this story, I can tell you guys that um, one way that helped me get out of those moments was finding another line of income, all right? Find something that you're good at. If you're good at hair, do hair and charge people. If you're good at photography, do photo shoot and charge people. If you're good at something, do something and charge people. I personally love photography so much that I have a hard time asking people to pay me, um, which is okay and I'm practicing to stop, but a way that I helped myself was I was dog sitting. I started dog sitting and I was making a few hundred dollars and I was able to pay things off because I was making a few hundred dollars, Uber driving, um, things like that. So find other ways of making income. As a person in a military that is a lower ranking, you have to make sure that you're being a good airman first and it doesn't prove your leadership or if they're chill enough, if it's not getting between you and work, then you're good to go. But um, I know for a fact that I don't make enough money, so I try to find ways of making um, more income. There's many, many, many ways. You just gotta sit down and do your research. Another thing that I have to say is put time in. As much time as you put in towards this and this and that, make sure you're putting it towards your finances because it's only gonna help you. It's your life, okay? Being financially um, stable helps with your mind work and your stress. In the military, we have so much stresses. Like I remember when I first got in, I was stressed. I wanted. I had to learn a new job. I had to get used to a new location, get used to the new people, get used to the new way of living. And I was already stressed. And finance on top of that did not help. And so you want to limit your stress as much as you can. I always remember, no one is good, but the Lord's ahead.